you know, the leaders of the early church were the former disciples of Jesus. They had a problem. They had too much to do. There were, they were not only uh, preaching and teaching the good news, they were managing all of the many ministries the church had to do, including taking care of the needy. They wanted to do it all, but they were spread too thin, trying to preach and do the day-to-day -day work of the church. The disciples were not the first spiritual leaders to face this problem. You know, back in the Old Testament, Moses had the same problem. His father-in-law told him to appoint helpers to manage a lot of the small business so Moses could focus on the big problems. Just as Moses turned to others to help, the disciples chose seven men to manage the day-to-day -day operations of the church. Without these important people, without gifts that work, our church just could not function as well as it does. You imagine if the church needed to be repainted and no one showed up to paint. Imagine if no one ever cleaned the bathrooms. Imagine if the floors were never swept. Imagine if the lights burned out and never were replaced. We'd all be sitting here in the dark, walking on dirty floors, and I don't even want to think about the bathrooms. God wants all of us to participate in serving. He wants us all to be willing to get our hands dirty, serving around the church and in the community. You know, just put your hand up and say, I'll help. But just as God has gifted some of us to lead through teaching, he's gifted certain people to lead through works. Some of these people have the gift of administration. They're good at organizing and doing the day-to-day -day work in the church office. Some have a gift that's often referred to as helps. They have an eye for when something needs repair or when someone needs a hand, and they're always quick to jump in and lend a hand. And then, there, then there's a gift of service. Like I said, God wants all of us to participate in service, but he gifts certain people with a knack for organizing food drives, running coat closets, and assembling work teams to go out and serve in our community. Anyone handy with a paintbrush, a hammer, or any other tool can find a place to use that gift in the ministry of our church. Gifts that work hold the church together, literally and figuratively. They keep the church functioning in so many ways, and they lead us in serving our community. They are the hands of the body of Christ. They do the work that's needed, and they're not afraid to get their hands dirty. So let's thank God for these gifts, and let's ask God to show us how we can use our gifts in service to him. All right, let's close with a quick prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for the gifts that do important work. In Jesus' name, and everybody said, amen.